Hey, this is Russell, back again with another episode. I'm literally recording this back-to-back because the last one I just recorded. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see what this does and see how much I'm able to do with this and this. Let's go ahead and make it just 8,000 because I know we can manage that. And this is going down, so I'm not too worried about that. Mostly because we're losing, uh, we're not making that many sales now. Um... But while that's going in the background, we're putting marketing and support into this for a while. Um, I'll go ahead and just go through and kind of decorate the house a little. Um, so first thing we're going to be doing is, I'm not sure if I can do it on this screen. I might have to like go to the other screen. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the other screen. So we're going to go to, I think it's wall. Uh, there's a way to change it to pillars. I should have just done this like before the episode started. I remember seeing it somewhere. Uh, where is it? Become like a pillar. There we go. Change from room to pillar. Uh, how do we do that? Use this tool to change room into pillar or vice versa by clicking on them. There we go. There we go. Uh, and then there's also some things we can add to the house, mainly rugs, because, you know, at the end of the day, uh, that's going to make the house look a bit nicer, too. And uh, it's not actually carrying over my preset colors that I kind of added on here from the other game. That kind of sucks, because I did come up with, like, a bit of a nice color scheme. But maybe I'll come up with, like, a new one now that'll look nice. Um, so let's go ahead and rotate this so it's a little bit more centered. Um, and we're going to go ahead and come up with a nice color. Um, let's go with maybe like a purple. And then a little bit of a lighter purple. And then maybe like a red. Kind of like that. And how's that going to look? Maybe make the red a bit of a darker one. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, how's that? A little better? Okay. We can go with that. Let's go ahead and save style. And I think that saves it. Yeah, okay. So we could go, like, switch to, like, that, for example, if we wanted to very easily. Uh, but I think I liked the... Ooh, how's that going to look? Eh, I like the style a lot. Yeah, okay. We're going to duplicate that. We're going to add this rug in a few places. So let's do it, like, here. And I don't know. Uh, I just don't know what to do with this huge empty space in the middle. Um, if we can add the rug on either side of this bookcase like that. And yeah, I just don't know what to do with this space in the middle. Uh, it'd be nice to have some rugs here. You know, like under the, the tables. Let's go ahead and do, hmm, see that doesn't look that nice though. Maybe a circular rug and we can actually do one where it's like the, the same color, but I don't think if we, if we put it on their table, you won't even see it. So let's do, I mean, I can do these like custom rugs as well, but I don't really like the look of them. And I've tried doing, like, different, like, pattern styles, too, and I don't really like it. How does this one look in comparison to that one? That looks a bit... Eh, I like this one more. So let's go ahead and... Maybe here and here. Looks okay, I guess. And we'll do... This. Hmm. Let's do it like that. And you know what? I like that, actually. I like having, like, a bit of a mix. So we'll do, like, a, a more of a blue rug thing downstairs and then just have the purple rugs there. Um, go 
to the basement, I guess. That's meh. I don't like how it cuts off the hallway. Eh, I think maybe I will switch to this, but I will have a different style downstairs. Uh, let's go ahead and do disgusting. I really don't like that style. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I do like that style better than the other ones. Maybe I'll just stick with this one. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. And this. I'm trying to think of what else. And this. That makes the house look a little bit more bearable to have like rugs throughout it. Um, I could replace this desk with like an actual desk if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and just get rid of this real fast. And this. And we'll go to office stuff. And do the actual desk because I didn't have this before. Uh, make it like a nice dark wood. Apply. And this still won't be our primary desk, so it doesn't really matter too much. But we will add, like, you know, the whole plant and let's say, like, a phone here. Uh, actually, what happened to those chairs? I didn't want to get rid of those chairs. Um. Well, we'll add some nicer chairs anyways. So let's do that. And we'll, of course, you know, add some chairs. Ah, okay, you can't have those chairs with those, those tables. I see. That's weird. Uh, I'm fine with that, though. And let's just make it, you know, reddish color instead. So it fits the house a bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and change, like, select entire building, I think it is. Oh, come on. Where is it? Select the entire building. Let's change the style a bit. Uh, so let's go to materials first of all. Let's focus on the interior. Let's give it like this one. And let's say you know, a nice wooden floor maybe would be cool to mess around with. So let's go ahead and do that. And then for colors we're going to do Let's do like a nice, oh, I did not want to do that. Okay. I just press this to not apply it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do interior. Uh, let's do like a darkish purple, maybe. <laughs> maybe a blue. I think add a little bit of light to it. And then, of course, for the floor, we'll just do more of a, uh, maybe that. Let's see how that looks. Uh, hmm, not sure I like that. Also, the exterior. So let's do something about the exterior first. So let's select the entire building. And select the entire building. I want to keep the material the same for the exterior, but let's go for like a. Uh, let's make it a little darker. Did I just select the entire floor or select the entire building? I think I just selected the floor. So let's go to select the entire building. Oh, select like building floor. That's what I did by accident. There we go. And let's do the top part like that. How do I like that? That looks a bit better. Looks kind of more like this area. Uh, yeah. It actually ma makes it match with the blue a bit better. Hmm. I do like this a bit better than the way it was before. I think it's a step in the right direction. I don't think it's the way I'll keep it. I think I'll change it eventually, but I think it looks a bit better. Uh, 
Concerning a f floor. I'm trying to think. If I were to add another floor. I won't worry about that now. I don't want it to be like a building episode. Um, if I do like any like major building like that, I think I'll uh, do it as like a time lapse and stuff like that. Um, I just wanted to make the house look a little bit nicer. And I don't want to mess around with it too much. I actually want to have like an episode. So sorry about that. I probably should have uh, done a lot like a little bit uh, off screenish. I guess would be the words for that. Um, I'm curious how the windmills have been doing. Let's just go to, because I haven't focused on it at all last episode. So if we go to utilities, they've been spiking quite often. We've already made 10,000 today. So that's actually paying for the marketing hilariously. Um, and we're down to 10 people and zero people. Let's do an update to fix the last bug. And bam. Oh, there's actually two bugs now. One of them just popped up. It's interesting how they can still find bugs like this late. And uh, now we're not doing much. We're just focusing on the support. So maybe it'd be time to do a new project. Um, maybe best to hold off just a little bit. So we could do another FPS game. We're losing... A little bit of what should we call it on that? Um, I'm curious if we were to put more into marketing. So what are we what are we gonna sell this month? We sell like three thousand, and we made you know a decent profit of it. But I'm sure like a part of that is you know we're probably competing with someone now. Um, so that asks me that you know asks me the question: Do I want to lead even harder into the sports games? Um, I mean, I proved I was able to deal with a lot of, like, the bad side of things. You know, we did lose, like, 2,000 tickets. But because we did so well on that game, we were able to, uh, you know, just not have that be a problem for us, I guess. Um, so if we did release another game, we'd have to make it better than this one. So we'd have to like watch like the whole thing to make sure it was inspiring again. We'd have to add like more features. Uh, we would have to, uh, you know, do. Uh, we'd have to do a lot. I could make an FPS game, and the advantage of that is we have like a smaller audience for it. You know, only having like you know not even a full heart and market recognition for it, so that wouldn't be an issue. And, uh, you know, it wouldn't be an issue that, like, you know, people would, like, want to, uh, you know, it, it wouldn't be an issue for, uh, like, overwhelming us as much of an issue for overwhelming us. And also, we don't have, like, as like high of a standard on us to do well in a FPS game because we don't even own the IP of our last FPS game, so we'd just be making a new one. I think I want to go with an FPS game next and hold off on another sports game. So let's go ahead and just start working on it, I guess. Um, we don't even have to like min-max it too much just because we're not working off of... Ooh, I feel like that's a little new, the way you know that uh, does everything there. So let's go to... I think like it used to be like larger boxes or something like it. Uh, let's have mod support. Oh, no, no, physics. Physics are the most important thing in a uh, FPS game. Gotta have physics. Uh, let's do adaptive music, because whenever you get in combat, you want to, like, have it go, like, boom, boom, boom. Advance HUD. Uh, get you the most uh, information possible. And we're already going pretty heavy into the features by doing that. Uh, 3D graphics. <sighs> I mean, it's already says like approximately five years, which is crazy. Um, if we're to do for 11 years, yeah, no, forget it. Um, we didn't want it to be a good game, though, so I didn't want to like have like a lack of features. There's still only 86% interest, but we may be able to adjust that. We'll see. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do $65. And we're going to be calling it Metal. Oh, my bad. Metal of Dishonor. No, in no way, you know, inspired by Medal of Honor. And go to server, zero, advanced. Don't worry about a framework, because I'll probably never make one of these again. This will probably be the last one, then I can focus down sports stuff again. Uh, frame side for, and what was the other one? Line Shade OS. 1999 was your release date, and then Frame Side 4 was 1998. So they're going to come out with new OSs soon. So we'll probably have to port it anyways if it gets that big. But I mean, that's good for now, I guess. I wonder if I was to just move that one. It turned into four years. And we would most definitely have to port it by then, but I think I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and go to the next page. Looks like we won't be able to min-max it. Maybe just get like a little more. And go ahead and go to next. Approximately four years, publisher none. Curious, what would a publisher want the release date to be 2004? Yeah, no. I don't think I can do that fast enough. Even if I did, I wouldn't want to. Okay. Let's go ahead and develop this. Please, maybe. I'm trying to think what else we'd want. Maybe we can follow up with a multiplayer game in the future. Actually, you know what we could do is if we wanted to follow up with this, we would do like 3D graphics and multiplayer is what we would add on to it probably. Or one or the other. I'm curious. No. Yeah, that's going to be too much. But it is easier than 3D graphics. So maybe like if I was to do like a future version of this, it would be like that plus multiplayer. Okay. I think I like it. Let's go ahead and develop. Quite small team. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. So, what I've been told is that if I watch him, right now he has like high, is it inspiration or is it like creativity? Actually, I think I have to look at creativity maybe or something. Uh, anyways, like his inspiration bar, there it is. Inspiration bar was going to go like up and down. And when it's down, I can just stop working on the development for it. And when it's up, I can keep developing on it. And uh, that's the way I get like a more inspired game. So let's go ahead and keep this window open. And we can pause the iteration because it's only going to be doing calling for the design phase that we need to stay inspired. So if we start losing inspiration, we can... Uh, we can stop designing it for a little while and focus on something else. So right now our inspiration is going down ever so slightly. Uh, let's just go ahead and put this on like... I didn't want to do a tutorial. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and put this on like 4,000 so we can focus on that. I don't really care too much about getting too many more sales on that. I did kind of blow a lot of money in just getting like a hundred something thousand. So I guess once maybe I go down to the halfway mark, maybe I'll go ahead and pause it. So let's go ahead and get ready to, where is it? Uh, probably just have to undersign myself. Bam. Okay, now will the inspiration go back up for a bit? Let's see what happens tomorrow. So now that the inspiration's kind of down the halfway, will it just come back on its own while I work on other stuff, I guess? 
maybe I have to like idle or something for the inspiration to come back up. I'm curious. So if we were to just wait now. Uh, is it going up? So if I was to assign my... I am, I am the lead for this. Right? I thought I was the lead. So if I go back up to this... Yeah, I'm already the lead. Now my design, my inspiration is dropping again. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I have to like take on the contract or something when I uh, am unassigned from it. So let's go ahead and assign, unassign myself. And maybe tomorrow I'll take a contract or something. I could use a contract anyways just to make it so that my reputation goes up. And yeah. Going out partying again tonight, Brain Taylor is. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next day. And we're going to go ahead and go to contract. Where's contract again? I haven't done it in so long. There we go, contract work. <laughs> uh, let's get like this big logistics application. Have fun with it. Uh, I'm curious if doing the logistics application is going to lower my inspiration. Doesn't look like it is doing the development phase at least. So that's interesting. I, I can develop this one without uh, losing that. And then when I just work on this, interesting. So I wonder when my inspiration bar is going to go back up. Like, does it take a long time to recharge or, or what? Hmm. I'm curious. Maybe it's just because I'm watching it. It's like watching a, uh, oh, there it goes. Like watching a uh, microwave. When something's cooking in it, it goes slower when uh, you're not watching it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just focus down this contract for the rest of the day. And then uh, we can reassign ourselves to Medal of Dishonor next day. Doesn't look like we have any new bugs, which is kind of cool. Uh, 477 might be the max. There might be a couple more. Because obviously people are getting queued. So has to be something queuing them. Some kind of hidden secret bug. And uh, trying to think, we do have like one month left. So like we could even do this next month, but I'll probably finish it this month. And what is my employee thinking about inspiration and stuff? Uh, that's probably not the president to press. Actually, I think I can press them directly. Employee details. Okay, yeah, he's pretty inspired. So let's go ahead and promote and finish. And then we can just go ahead and assign him again to this. And make sure he is still the lead. And bam. Just drain our inspiration again. And I'm curious to see how inspiring this thing is going to be now. Because we're actually min-maxing our inspiration a bit. Um, yeah, I think this could turn out better. I'm not sure if I want to do a full, like, three iterations on this. I might just make it two. You know, it might just be, like, you know, a quick and easy cash grab, middle of this honor. Again, I think my specialization is going to be these sports games in the end. Uh, and yeah. So this makes me curious. Maybe I want to, like, start developing my mech sports game alongside the development of Metal of Dishonor because I can always like focus on development with like the inspiration. The only problem with that is it slows down Metal of Dishonor and the next sports game which is going to make it hard to you know like release it but I end up having to like port it and stuff like that and do updates as soon as it releases 
in order to make that work. I was thinking of doing like that in a sports game at the same time once we go to the next phase so I can do the, the development stuff when I'm inspired and then when I'm not inspired, focus on this game. But yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, let's see. Interestingly, it's not dropping us because it's the end of the day. Let's see. Let's see if I can remain inspired till the end of this, or I'll have to distract myself again or something. So that's interesting. So if I have multiple employees with inspiration, I could probably just switch between like which one is the lead, I guess. Or do I always have to like permanently keep one as a lead? That's interesting. I'm thinking of ways I can use this in the future. Uh, we don't seem to be losing any more inspiration, so maybe is it just the first iteration that it matters? Hmm. So maybe I didn't even need to do that. Maybe because he can stay inspired through the first iteration, I didn't have to distract myself like that. I don't know. I'm curious to see if we start losing more during the third iteration. But I don't really, like, want to do another iteration, honestly. I think just the one, two iterations are going to be enough. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe if you guys want to see more. Uh, and yeah, I'll go ahead and probably record another episode after this. So, for me, it'll be back to back. You guys, see you next week. God bless. Bye. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Always interested in your feedback down in the comment section. You guys have a good one. God bless.